the fourth reason why calamities befall men. This is an instruction that God gave me to teach this. Misuse and abuse. Misuse and abuse. Misuse and abuse. Many people have abused opportunities. They have abused those relationships to their detriment today. Misuse and abuse. Please pay attention. Many families today are suffering because of this abuse and misuse. It was true with the prodigal son. It was true with the sons of Eli. Remember the sons of Eli? Hophni and Phinehas. Abuse and misuse will always bring depletion. As I was meditating on this, it really dawned on me how true this thing is. Abuse and misuse. Do you know? I submit to you. There are many families today, with all due respect, who should never be begging for food to eat with the kind of people that God brought to their lives. But they abuse privileges. Are we together? The manager gave you one of his car and said, be driving. Abuse, misuse. Gave you a house you did not pay for. Be staying there. Abuse and misuse. Gave you an opportunity. Gave you his ATM card and said help yourself you return back with a bill of over one million abuse and misuse people go to the restaurant and they say just eat anything and they say oh, this this is my opportunity abuse and misuse please listen and learn many people today have abuse opportunities my uncle he said the moment you see that you are surrounded by great people but not affected by their greatness there is abuse somewhere there is misuse somewhere are we together now? There are people who have abused relationships with men of God, abused relationships with their pastors, abused relationships with their leaders. Oh, it looks like my pastor likes me specially. He doesn't seem to rebuke me when I'm wrong. Abuse, misuse. Someone is sleeping or resting and you call him by 12 and 1 and say, please, can I have 30 minutes discussion with you? because I donated one million to the church or two million to the church and you see pastors business people there are those today who probably would never have gotten to certain offices but maybe by leverage and they got there and the next thing they would just call the director of the company and say you don't know me I had when you were dictating your number to the other person wow I'm amazed you even picked my call sir you are a very great one I've seen your face around the paper and the man said who is this and cuts that call and because of that you and all who are connected to you suffer indefinitely abuse listen and learn please many people have abused their relationships with god because god is merciful and compassionate many people have abused their relationships with men many people have abused the laws of the kingdom are we together yeah the moment you put yourself in a position where you abuse and you misuse opportunities. That door closes forever. My question is, what door opened before that is now closed? I can tell you there was an abuse and there was a misuse. Hallelujah. The man promised you that you always pay your school fees. You just call or you send a text. Sir, it's time to send. You see that? What does he say? It's time. That's how you announce to someone who is doing what probably your loved ones could not do. How much is the school fees? 2.5 million. And you are telling him it's time. Oh, something you may not be able to raise in one decade of your life. Every time God puts people around your life to show you unusual kindness, don't act as if it is something you would have been able to do. Are you learning now? God grants me grace I cannot give myself. I will roll on the ground and say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I would not have done it by myself. Hallelujah. This man who has 20 cars, all that he gave me was one small golf to start moving around Abuja with you. mean this, this man, what is there? I've seen him buy things for strangers. And me, I'm his direct father's younger brothers, sisters. That, all, all that is stories. Nobody owes you anything, let me tell you. Get used to it immediately. Uh, everything done is an act of kindness. 
And if you don't appreciate it, life, will, you will recycle your pain again and again. Are we together? Don't do that. I'm teaching you, many people are, it's not like God cannot bring you out of calamities. Most of us have not learned. We don't understand honor. We abuse and we misuse relationships to our detriment. We abuse and we misuse things. Someone gives you his car to travel with. You promise to return it after two days. And before you know it with that car, the first shock is that the car is all over social media. Come and see what God has done. And the owner of the car is saying, what in the world is happening here? The second shock is that you veer off and go somewhere else. The third shock is that you return the car. You don't even have the wisdom to fuel it, to say thank you or wash it. You return it with the mud from your village and pack it and drop the key. And then you are not even there to say thank you physically. I know this is hard, but just I love you. Just listen to me. I'm teaching you how to come out of calamities. Do you know that I met, um, I met um, Daddy Jill? I'm telling you. I shook him. I even touched his shoulder. And then I met Bishop where they go. I, these guys are not, I, I, there's nothing special about them. What can you imagine? And while you are saying that the realm of the spirit is hearing you, that means you have closed the door to that realm of greatness. They don't have to speak against you. I'm telling you, this is how it works. Every dimension of greatness in the kingdom has a grace that takes men there. And the moment you dishonor the men, you also dishonor the grace that leaves men there. Are we together? This ordinary pastor, what is there? I'm sure that this pastor's wow, it's just, just lucky. And then you now say, Father, grant me grace. It will not happen. God is not a... Say, Father. One more time, say, Father. I obtain grace to not abuse and misuse opportunities hallelujah 